Welcome to the homework for lesson two. This is module four of grade two. Get your name on here first. We've got a lot, a uh, lot of problems to solve here, but most of them are, are not. It should go pretty quickly, and uh, I'm gonna rush through these because otherwise this video will take a half an hour. And uh, I'll just give a couple of examples of different ways to to solve these. If you want to do them on paper, and and, and it's um, where it's all place value strategies and you can use scrap paper to show the arrow way or number bonds or just use mental math and write down the answer so I'll show you how to do it the arrow way and I'll show you how to do it with number bonds and then I'm just gonna just go right through a bunch of them so here's an idea of, of the the steps that you use mentally to solve it using place value strategies looking at the digits we're looking at 23 plus 30. Actually, we're working, at, we're working on this right here. All right, so two tens and three tens is five tens, and that's 50. So if we're looking at 24 plus 30, we're looking at five tens, and it's just four ones because there's no other ones to add. 54, and a lot of these in this first section are going to be just like that. So in this one, 5 tens plus 4 tens is 9 tens, and that's 90. And here's our 5 tens and our 4 tens. And now we just have 9 ones in one of the add-ins and no other ones to add to it. So it's we're still going to have the 9 tens, and, but now we're going to have the 9 ones. 99. So since there's some room to work with over here, I'm going to do this one first. I'll show you the arrow way. So if I'm going to do this the arrow way, I would take start with the 60 and add the 30 first. And that would get me to 90. And then I'll add the eight ones. 98. And that's an example of the arrow way. If I'm going to add this using number bonds, I'm going to use this. I'm going to think of the 38 as 30 and 8 and that's going to make 90 and then I'll have 90 plus 8 98 so there's an example of that's that's what it would look like if you used the arrow way to do it this is how you it would look to use number bonds to do it if you're still if you're writing these out that's how you show it but I'm just going to go through these and look at the digits and do it mentally. So we've got 20 and 40. That's 60 with 8 more, 68. 18 and 30, that's a 10 and that's a third and that's 30, so that's 40 plus 8 more is 48. We already figured this one 98. We did it twice already. We have 30 and 20, that's 50. And 5 more is 55. 35 and 50, that's 30 and 50, that's 80, and 5 more is 85. 15 and 20, that's 10 and 20, that's 30, and 5 more is 35. Now 37, what do we need to add to it to get 47? We have all the ones we need, we just need another 10. 27 and 57, we just need 10s. We have two 10s, we need 5, so we need 3 more, 30. 17 and 87, we have all the ones we need already, so we have to get from 110 to 8 tens. We need seven more tens, and that's just 70. Same thing, similar thing here with 22 and 62. We have all the ones we need. We have two ones for both, for our sum and this add in. So we just need to add, we just need tens for our other add in. Four more tens, 40. And 29, we need five more tens to get to 79, 50. And here we have 11, we want 91. So we have one 10, we need nine tens, we need eight more tens, that's 80. Now we're finding sums. And we're using greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. Uh, if you can't remember which one is which, then think of the old reliable alligator eats the bigger number. There's my little alligator. Alligators are hungry. 
big number. They're hungry. So it's a hungry alligator. And it always wants to eat the bigger number. All right, so uh, it's going to face the open end of the mouth. It's going to face the larger number. But we have to find every sum first. You don't just write in greater than, less than, equal to as you go. We have to write down what the sums are and write like, which symbol works. So 23 and 40, that's 63. 20 and 33, it's 53. And 63 is greater. 50 and 18, that's 5 tens, so that's 6 tens and 8 ones. 48 and 20, two more tens, so that's 68. And those are equal. 19 and 60, well, that's one more 10 and 9 ones, so it's 79. And this is three more 10, so it's 69. And 79 is greater. One more 10. 64 is 74 and then now two more tens for 49 is 69 and 74 is greater uh, 21 and seven more tens is 91 and 18 and eight more tens is 98 91 is less than 98 35 and 5 more tens is 85 and 26 and 6 more tens is 86 and 85 is less than 86. And we're using more place value strategies except now it's with subtraction, right? This first page is all addition using place value and error away or number bonds. And now we're going to do everything but now we're going to do it with subtraction. 6 tens minus 2 tens. Let's think 6 minus 2. It's 4. But we're talking about tens, so four tens is 40. And here we have it. Six tens minus three tens is three tens. And we're not subtracting any ones, so we still have the three ones. 33. Eight tens minus five tens is three tens. It's eight minus five. But since it's tens, that's 30. And we've got eight tens. We're subtracting five tens. Three tens are left, and we're still going to get to keep all nine ones because we're not subtracting any ones. That's 39. And so if we're going to do this arrow way, I'll give an example like I did on the first page. You could do this one ten at a time and count down, count backwards by tens. But this is going to be, when you're subtracting tens, it's a little bit easier. So 85, we're going to subtract five tens. 35, you'll be writing it out arrow way. Uh, number bond method would be thinking of this as an 80 and a 5. This might be a little more helpful. Then you can really see that the 80 minus 50 is 30 and you still have that 5 left, 35. So there's the examples of how to do it. And I'm just going to go through these as fast as I can here. <laughs> Mentally, we're only subtracting 10s here. So we have 5 10s, that's 35. We still have those 1s. We're going to keep those 5 1s. 7 minus 3 for 10s is 4 10s. We still have those 5 1s. 72 and 22. Well, we still have the 2, so we're subtracting 0 ones. But we need to figure out how many 10s to take away from seven, to get from 7 down to 2. That's 5 tens, which is 50. And this is similar. We can see we have the 9 ones. We're not subtracting any ones. So 0 is our ones digit for our subtrahend. And we have to get from 4 tens down to 1 ten, so we have to take away 3 tens, 30. And same thing here. We're not subtracting any ones. So our ones digit will be zero in our, for our subtrahend. And then our tens digit is going to be eight. We have to get down to two, so we have to subtract six tens, 60. And here again, we're not subtracting any ones. So our ones digit and our subtrahend is zero. And we have to get from six tens down to four tens. So we have to take away two tens to do that, it's 20. 
Looking at this one, we're not subtracting any ones again, so zero ones in our subtrahend. And we have to get from seven tens down to five tens. That's two tens we have to take away. And 99 here again, we're not taking away any ones because we still have nine ones left after we subtract. So our subtrahend is going to have zero for our ones digit. And we have to get from nine tens down to six tens. We have to take away three tens to do that. Now complete each more than or less than statement. 20 less than 58. That's 38. 36 more than 40. So it's more than, so we're adding these. 76. 40 less than something is 28. 40 less, so 28 is going to be 40 less. So whatever this is, it has to be 40 more. So is 28 less, 40 less than, yeah, it is, okay. 40, 40 less than 68 is 28, right? 50 more than something is 64. 50 more than, so this is going to have to be a smaller number because this is more, so this has to be less. So it's got to be 14. 50 more than 14, so that's, right, 50 more than 14 is 64. You can think of them that way. It, it really helps for these kinds of puzzles. These are, these really are puzzles. It's just more than and less than. It, if you say them out loud, it makes a big difference. There were 68 plates in the sink at the end of the day. There were 40 plates in the sink at the beginning of the day. How many plates were added throughout the day? Use the arrow way to show your simplifying strategy. So I'm going to start this actually with a tape diagram just to R D W W this. So I read it and I'm going to draw it. 68 plates at the end of the day. So E for end. 68 plates. And but in the beginning of the day there were beginning of the day there were 40. And we need to know these are the plates that were added. A. We don't know how many were added. So whatever we had at the beginning and then we added more and it ended up being the same as the 68 for the end of the day. So we're trying to find the difference between 68 and 40. So here's our arrow way simplifying strategy. Right, we have to do 68 minus 40. There's our number sentence. And we're going to use the arrow way to just count it back. 68. 10 at a time. 58 minus another 10, 48 minus another 10, 38. Now that's one, two, three tens. We need to take away four tens, so it's one more 10. 28. 28 more plates. were added. 